Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of BA Cloud. Cloud providers offer a variety of excellent virtual desktop solutions such as Google Cloud VDI, Amazon Workspaces, Azure AVD, Windows 365 and more. I want to introduce you to a new virtual desktop solution explicitly designed for developer teams and it's known as Azure DevBox. One of the primary challenges when hiring a new developer to your organization is set up their workstations. Developers must have necessary tools for their workstations to begin. There are a lot of pain points in that kind of process across different roles. From the developer perspective, it's slow setup and onboarding times, development hardware constraints and conflicting project configurations. From the IT team's perspective, it's repetitive configuration, global team's configuration, and emerging security threats. Azure DevBox is a cloud-based service provided by Microsoft that offers developers a self-service access to pre-configured, secured, and highly performance workstations called DevBoxes. These DevBoxes come with tools, resources specific to a project, allowing developers to start coding immediately. The service caters to three key roles, dev infrastructure admins, developer team leads, and developers. Dev infra admins and ITTM and IT team admins collaborate to ensure secure access to your resources, while developer team leads manage the developer experience and create dev boxes pools. Developers can self-serve dev boxes from these pools, enabling them to work on multiple projects efficiently. Azure DevBoxes brings control of project resources closer to developer teams, streamlining workflows, and enhancing productivity. This demonstration will guide you through a complete process of creating a DevBox environment, beginning with infra admin, passing through the team leads of developers, and concluding with the developers who will create the DevBoxes VMs. So let's start and have fun. Let's start with accessing the Azure portal. In your favorite browser, enter portal.azure.com and log in with your uh, Azure Active Directory credentials. The first step is to create a resource group where all the resources for the dev box will be deployed. In the left side menu bar, let's select create a resource. Next, search for a resource group and click create. Choose a name and a region and click Create. Now go to the resource group you created and click Create to create a new resource. Now we, we are going to create a Dev Center resource. Search for a Dev Center in the search bar and click Create. In the resource group field, choose the resource group you created before. Choose an appropriate name and choose the same location in which you deployed the resource group. I will also create a tag for my resource. Hit review and create. I will return once the deployment is complete. The deployment was successfully completed. Let's go and see the Dev Center resource in the portal. Go back to the resource group and see the resource. Next, I will create a virtual network and a subnet for our virtual dev boxes. Click Create button and search for the virtual network and click Create. Choose a virtual network name, choose a region and click the Next button. In the IP addresses tab, delete the existing subnet and create a new one with an appropriate name. Leave the subnet CIDR as it is. Hit review and create. I will return once the deployment is complete.
Let's go back to our resource group. Now we have two resources, a dev center and a virtual network. Now let's create a network connection resource. You already know the drill. Hit the create button, search for the network connection, choose the resource and hit create. We have two options. First, create a connection with Azure Active Directory join and the second, hybrid Azure Active Directory join which connects to on-premises Active Directory. I will choose the first one. Enter a name, choose a virtual network you created in the previous step, select a subnet and hit review and create. I will return once the deployment is complete. Great, let's keep going. Go to the resource group and now we can see our three resources. Let's attach a network connection to a dev center. Select the dev center that you created and then select networking. Add network connection. Select network connection and press add. After you attach a network connection, Azure Portal runs several, several health checks on the network. Meanwhile, let's move to the next step and create a DevBox definition. DevBox definitions define the image and SKU, compute and storage, that used in the creation of the DevBoxes. Click Create DevBox definition. Fill in all the fields. Enter a descriptive name for your DevBox definition. Select the base operating system for the DevBox. You can select an image from Azure Marketplace or from Azure Compute Gallery. To access custom images when you create a DevBox definition, you can use Azure Compute Gallery. For more information, see the links below. Select the image version. I will select the latest. Select the compute combination for your DevBox definition. Select the amount of storage for your DevBox definition. Click Create. Let's move to the next step and create a project. DevBox projects enable you to manage team level settings. The settings include providing access to development teams so that developers can create DevBoxes. Click the projects under Manage in the left sidebar. Click Create a project. Choose your Dev Center, a project name, and the description and click Review and Create. Deployment is completed successfully. Go back to the resource group. The next step is to create a DevBox pool. A DevBox pool is a collection of DevBoxes that have similar settings. DevBox pools specify the DevBox definitions and network connection that DevBoxes use. You must associate at least one pool with your project before users can create a DevBox. Go to your project and enter DevBox pools in the left sidebar. Click Create a DevBox Pool button. Enter a name, DevBox definition, and the network connection. Select the login type between a local administrator and a standard user. I will choose a local administrator. You can configure an auto stop option to save your cost. I will choose the stop time of 9 pm. Confirm the licensing and hit create. DevBox pool creation takes time, so I will return when the deployment is finished. Great, the DevBox pool was created and we have no errors in the status tab. Next, let's provide access to a DevBox project. Before users can create DevBoxes based on the DevBox pools in a project, you must provide access for them through a role assignment. The DevBox user role enables DevBox users to create, manage and delete their own DevBoxes. You must have sufficient permissions to a project before you can add users to it. 
On the left menu, select Access Control. On the command bar, select Add and Add, Ro and add Role Assignment. Choose the Dev Center Dev Box User Role and hit Next. Press the Select Members and find the user you want to add. I will choose myself. Click Select and press Next. Finally, please review and assign. Go back to your resource group to explore the resource we created. So, we created a Dev Center, Virtual Network, Virtual Network Connection, a Dev Box Definition, a Project, and finally the Dev Box Pool. Now, let's enter the Dev Portal and create our first Dev Box host. Enter devportal.microsoft.com and log in with your Azure Active Directory account. Select the Add a DevBox link. Choose a name and the project you created before. Click Create. A DevBox is automatically started and running when the creation process finished. The creation time takes about 25 minutes. I will return where, when it's done. It finished creating a dev box after about 20 minutes. We have two options to access the host. I will start with the web browser. Click the open in the browser, enter your Azure Active Directory credentials and click sign in. Awesome, we access to our development DevBox host. As you can see, we have a Visual Studio, Visual Studio code and Teams already deployed. Now, let's access the host through RDP client. I'm using a Mac device, so I downloaded the RDP client from the App Store. Click Configure a remote desktop and copy the URL. Open the remote desktop client, click Add Workspace and paste the link. Login with your Azure Active Directory account. Access your DevBox host. Again, enter your Azure Active Directory login credentials and press continue. Now we are connected through the RDP client. Disconnect from the host. Now you can stop or delete the DevBox from the developer portal to save costs. The DevBox hosts are automatically connected to Microsoft Intune and add a security layer to your DevBox environment. Let's enter the endpoint.microsoft.com and explore the device from the endpoint portal. As you see, our created DevBox host is managed by Intune and in compliance status. 
DevBox empowers development teams by bridging the gap between IT and developers, granting more control over project resources. It streamlines workflows, enhances productivity, and allows developers to work on multiple projects efficiently. Additionally, DevBox is a cloud-based solution, offering scalability, flexibility, and the ability to access workstation from anywhere, ensuring a seamless development experience. For more resources, please check the links below. Don't forget to like, to subscribe the channel, and stay tuned for more content. Bye, and see you in the next episode.